could the COVID vaccines win full approval? And if you had COVID, do you really need that second dose of the vaccine? Our Dr. Frank McGeorge back to answer more of your questions that you submitted through clickondetroit.com. Good evening, Doc. Good evening, Karen and Jason. Yeah, and they keep coming. So a viewer asks, my son was infected in early February and was fully recovered. But just now, my son's roommate was tested positive, and now my son is showing symptoms, mainly coughing. Since he is still within the three months of his last positive test, should he still take a COVID test or should he be quarantined? So here's the answer. While it is rare for someone to be reinfected within that three-month window, it actually can happen. So I would recommend your son get tested and quarantine until those test results come back. Now here's some more of your questions. Monica asks, my brother-in-law had a fairly decent case of COVID. He was not hospitalized, but it lingered for two plus weeks with fever and cough. He received the first dose, but read that the second isn't necessary due to the intensity of the actual virus. Have you heard or read any data related to this? The recommendation would still be to get both doses. While a natural infection gives you immunity to a number of antigens on the coronavirus surface, the vaccine gives you specific protection against the most important spike protein and will likely extend his immunity. Richard asks, I had my first dose and a week later I tested positive. Due to some underlying conditions, I was given the Bamlamivimab at a Sevimab infusion and was told that I had to wait 90 days to get vaccinated. So does that mean I have to start over with the initial dose? I'm glad that you received the monoclonal antibodies. Your situation falls into an odd gray area. Generally, we want the second dose given within six weeks of the first. Yours will be over 12 weeks out, but you also had a natural COVID infection in the meantime. My opinion is that you should just get the second dose after the 90 day waiting period. Kay asks, since the vaccines have been approved for emergency use by the FDA, people are concerned that it has not really been approved. How can you reassure them? When do you expect they will be approved beyond emergency use? The emergency use authorization was given using essentially the same trial data that will be used for full approval. The only thing missing is longer term follow up. Now that the vaccines have been given to millions of people without any serious adverse effect signals, I fully expect that full FDA approval will occur without any difficulty once the full standard data set is completed. Now, Dr. Fauci said he actually hopes the full approval of the vaccines will come very soon, something that will certainly be reassuring to the public at large. Back to you. All right. Good information as always, Doc. Thank you.